Hello, my name is Beza Aksodunya. I work as an associate professor at a public university in educational measurement and psychometrics. In today's video, I'm going to present you a technological tool called Padlet uh, that you can use for facilitating your in-class assessment activities. Padlet uh, is a virtual wall that you see the image on the, on the right. Uh, your students can use it to express their thoughts on a topic, on an open-ended discussion question, or on a project. Uh, they can enter their written expression, they can embed a video, add an audio recording, or attach a file, or insert a text. So there are many media versions that you can embed into a Padlet wall. Uh, it's not completely free. With a free account, you can create up to three walls for free. But when you subscribe for the pro version, you can use it unlimited for free. So let's try creating a Padlet wall together. First of all, you need to create a Padlet account if you don't have a one. After you create a Padlet account and sign in, uh, there are options that create different types of walls. In this video, we will select shelf option for class discussion, give it a title, describe the class, the purpose, and we will change the wallpaper design and we will post a question as an instructor. Let's try together. Um, yeah, here you see my Padlet page. Um, when you select make a Padlet, you will see a hand of options from wall to canvas, map, shelf. Uh, which one you select uh, depends on your purpose. In this video, I will select shelf and it says starting my Padlet. And here you see on the right hand side, you see the options that you can edit. Let's edit the title first. Uh, I want to make the title facilitating assessment for displaying purposes. And the description is, this is an example. You can add a different description depending on your purpose. You can add an icon. You can add, um, you can change the wallpaper depending on your student's level or, you know, whichever color you like. Um, I want to make it in purple. You can add textures or patterns or you can upload pictures as a background or create a green park, let's say. Let's select green park. And then you can adjust the settings for approval if you want a filtering for appro approving students to your Padlet account make this active require approval and after you are done with your settings click next and you are all set to post your discussion to your Padlet start posting on my first posting I want to ask an open-ended question to my students to discuss. Rename the section My Discussion Board. My Discussion Activity. Activity. And you can change it is location. Please add your comments on teacher evaluation system and the world. And when you select publish, your students can answer your question discuss with each other and you can rate their responses 
based on your rubric. Uh, on this wall, you can also add images, post-its, texts, video files, or YouTube links. So the selection is wide. Um, before we finish the video, I want you to answer a few questions. The first question is, what type of media cannot be posted on Padlet? Text, link, image, drawing, voice recording. You can post the text or select an image and upload to your Padlet. You can share a link or your students can record their voice, but you cannot post a drawing to your Padlet. So the correct response is D. And the second question, how many free walls can be prepared on Padlet with the basic version? Uh, with the basic version, you can only create up to three walls for free. If you want to continue using Padlet uh, with an unlimited version, you need to subscribe for the pro version. Thanks for listening.